I have been watching, before we introduce you, you sitting with your precious doggy. What is your dog's name? My dog's name is Penny. Oh. Uh, she's licking something, you know? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, she's here with me, and oh my god, Ellen, it's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. You have become one of the highlights of SNL, and uh, I'm really happy to have you on. You started in, you started in 2016, right? Uh, yes, I started the season, uh, yes, I forgot, what, for, 42, maybe? Season 42? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, I only know because I do the research. You, you don't need to keep count. I'll do that for you. <laughs> um, but you auditioned over 10 years ago, and I heard that you're in your audition, I was one of your impressions. What was, yes. I, first of all, what happened, and uh, first, look at that doggy. Come on, that's a cute dog. Oh, that's a penny. I'm trying to pay attention to you, too, but it's just a cute dog. Um, all right, so what happened in the audition? Well, you know, it was a, that audition, the first one was great. And yes, you were in there, Ellen. And I, I don't remember the bit I did, but I, I think it had to do with ABC, the Jackson 5 song. And I was like, I I'm Ellen, I know all the words, ABC, I, I love dancing. And that was it. <laughs> that's all I remember, and I'm sorry, it's so bad. It's well, been a while. That's, um, that's all right. But then you didn't get it. it you know, I wasn't ready. I was. 21, I, I, no, I wasn't funny yet. And now you appreciate it more, probably. Yes. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure you were funny, but yes, I, I, the, the more we do anything, the better we get at it, right? Mm-hmm. So you started doing stand-up really early, like 16, 17? Yeah, I did, 15, I started doing the Laugh Factory Comedy Camp, and you know, I'm fortunate to be out here from LA, so right after high school, I told my parents, like, you better drive me to the open mics. Oh, there I am. Oh, man. <laughs> Did, did you do mostly impressions, or did you write material? And because it seems like you do a lot of impressions. Yeah. So uh, that, for the longest time, was only the, the only thing I had in my stand-up that was it was the main thing. All the bits surrounded impressions. But now it's gotten to a really beautiful mix where, because I got I got mad. I was like, I don't. I, I, the crowd needs to know me too. I'm special, you know. So and I want to share my story. So now it's a mix of, yeah. A little bit of me, my family, my parents. I imitate my, my abuelita, my great grandma, who talks like, hola, melita. That's her voice. But, uh, and then it's like mixed to celebrity impressions and singing, and it's all very personal, and that's, it just makes it, it's just very fulfilling and cathartic. You yeah. Know? Well, yeah, that's, that's the great thing about being able to write and, and get humor out of it, no matter what is going on in your life. Do you remember the first sketch you did at SNL? Yes, it was a family feud. And I played Sarah Silverman. Oh my God! <laughs> um, and I, <laughs> I was really nervous about that. I, I remember shaking, you know, before they counted down to going live, and I, I thought, oh no, I can't do this every week. No. And <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was my first one. Yeah. And and do you get are are you nervous anymore or is it easy for you to do every week especially cuz y'all have great musicians and guest hosts? Um it's gotten easier, you know, but if there is someone that I get starstruck by like JLo or um oh man, one time Robert De Niro was there and oh, I, I that that's crazy to see them in person, you know, and I, I remember seeing De Niro in his dressing room. I walked by and we made eye contact and I was like, oh, oh and I ran. <laughs> I was like, oh no, he saw me. And then Heidi told me, you could go talk to him. You're a cast member. And I marched back and I was like, Robert, I'm Melissa. Nice to meet you. And he goes, hey, how you doing? You know, and he was really yeah. nice. Yeah. And I had, I have to talk to myself sometimes. Like, Melissa, you're, you're, they know you. I did that with Paul Rudd too. I was like, Paul, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, but it's crazy. I mean, seeing J Lo, Tom Hanks too. That was my first season. Tom Hanks. He did David S. Pumpkins that season, and um, yeah, he just marched in my writing office and ate all my almonds. <laughs> hey, you're hosting the Independent Spirit Awards next week. That's going to be fun, right? I know. It's going to be all pre-tape. It's going to be fun. We the pieces we've written are it's really silly, and I, I hope people like it. Yeah, first time hosting anything too. Oh, you'll have so much fun. It's just, it's, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. It's stand up and it's just, you know, with a bunch of really cool people. Yeah. 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 You're gonna be great. All right, Melissa, Thank we have to take a break. More with Melissa after this.